Today's topic is going to be about simulating an access and the hardware configuration. Here's a quick preview. You would start by using the hardware configuration page to switch the hardware mode, and then after this you would perform an online save and reboot. Hi, I am Micah Studeman. In this video I am going to give an overview and then show how to simulate a real access. Then I will talk about some considerations that would be taken when simulating a real access. So what is a simulated access? A simulated access is a traditional mechatronic access that is set to be a virtual access. This allows a machine, like this one, with multiple axes to be run on a simple two-axis demo unit. This also allows the code to be created and tested before the machine is operable. Normally virtual axes do not have any parameters or I.O. associated with them, but when you simulate an access, the parameters and I.O. mappings are preserved. This allows you to troubleshoot your code in a smaller unit while not heavily modifying your code. So how do you simulate a real access in MotionWorks IC3? Let's use an example project to walk through the process of simulating an access. The project I have here controls two servo motors on the MPIC motion demo. The program starts by rotating the left motor 270 degrees clockwise. Then the right motor rotates 270 degrees clockwise. Then the left motor rotates 270 degrees counterclockwise to zero. And finally, the right motor rotates 90 degrees clockwise, ending at zero. Using this program, we are going to turn the right motor, which is our rotary axis, into a simulated axis. So now let's go into MotionWorks IC3 and let's open up the hardware configuration. We will connect to the controller and then select the rotary servo from the selection tree. To change the rotary axis, right click and select switch hardware mode. After this, save the configuration and reboot the controller. After the controller has rebooted, let's run the motion profile again. You will see that the left motor is turning, but the right is not because in the program we are simulating that right motor. So if we look in the positioning POU, we will see that once the screw axis moves, the rotary axis will then move and follow the same motion sequence that was seen before. Now to change the simulated axis back into a real axis, all you need to do is go into the hardware configuration, find the axis you want to change back, right click on it, and select the switch hardware mode selection. Then save the configuration file to the controller and reboot the controller. The simulated access feature is a way to quickly convert the access from a mechatronic access to a virtual access without major changes to your code and hardware configuration. Therefore, it goes to reason that functions related to the mechanical properties of the motor, physical I.O., and motor feedback cannot be simulated with this feature. Thanks for watching this video. Go to yaskawa.com slash IECSW to download the latest version of MotionWorks IC3 and try out these features yourself with the 30-day demo.